everybody and welcome back. Um, I hope you all are uh, wet, rested and ha had a good weekend and or at least have been taking care of yourself. Um, I hope my stream is coming through okay. Uh, the uh, the uh, internet issues persist, but that's okay. Um, so hopefully my uh, stream is coming through okay. It doesn't it actually doesn't look like it is. Uh, hold on, let me swap off of Wi-Fi for this. Um, there we go. All right, I'm keeping an eye on my stream. Hopefully, hopefully it's all coming through okay. Maybe not too much lagging. Give me my mouse. Come on. Um. But yeah, my my internet issues persist. We're gonna muddle through it as much as we can. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, before we get, I'm sorry I'm late. By the way, I, we're a half an hour late starting because uh, you know life, life, life be in the way, uh, basically. Um, and then I needed to restart my router, and you guys don't give a shit. Um, but anyway. Um, uh-oh. Am I frozen? Oh, no. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Please behave yourself. Damn it. This is going to be a problem. Twitch says my bit rate is beha is up in the green, which is good. However, OBS is saying my connection is down in the red. As is Discord. And I'm more likely to trust those than anything else. Fuck me. I just cancel for the week. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna muddle through it. <sighs> but that means the that means that the fucking VOD is gonna be all laggy. <sighs> Actually, hold on a second. Let me check something. I'm gonna be doing something a little weird. Bear with me. Um. Let me pull up the VOD from last week. Last week was laggy too. Let's see how this was looking. All right, jumping forward. Might kill that. Yeah, let me let me go ahead and kill this. Let me let me drop the quality of this down to so maybe that'll help not seeming to be as laggy um i don't know 
<clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna try it. Let's just try. Let's just do it. And if it's a problem, then it's a problem. All right. Ah, there you go. That. All right. Sorry, everybody. Anyway. Um. So yeah, before we get properly into this, I know it's been already like 15 minutes. Uh, but uh, before we get properly into it, let us uh, let me let me briefly remind you guys of the fact that I have a Patreon where you can support me if you don't. In addition to streams and stuff, um, it's a place where you can help me uh, with my uh, help me. Uh, produce content and make my content better and all that wonderful stuff um patreon.com slash crimson knight uh which is or you could go to my link tree link tree slash crimson knight both of which are all available in like at, on screen in two different places as you can see right at this moment up here above my head and down here below my face uh both links both urls uh not clickable but you can type them in you know um but anyway, uh, Linktree also has links to my socials where you can follow me for updates, my Discord where you can join my community, <coughs> my uh, Patreon where you can support me, like I said, my Twitch where you can follow me live, and my YouTube where you can uh, catch the VODs. Hopefully they're not as laggy as this. Um, but... Uh, as I'm well, hopefully they're not as laggy as I'm worried this is. This may not actually be that laggy. Um, but anyway, the uh But yeah, 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 yeah. So uh go there, check out the links. Oh, if you're actually watching this on YouTube, uh please like, subscribe, and all that type of wonderful stuff. Um it helps out with the algorithm and everything. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Let's get back to it. We are already about halfway through the Jack the Ripper DLC. So it shouldn't take us much longer to complete it and be on to the next game. Hopefully my internet's sorted by then. We shall see. Okay. <sighs> All right. Catch you up on things that I have done. Uh, in between streams, I have gotten all of the collectibles, as you can see on screen here. Um, all the collectibles in Whitechapel. Uh, I've gotten all of them in the City of London. Uh, I don't know if there are any elsewhere, because I don't remember even go... I, I don't remember if we actually go to the other places or not. I have not really done much with the, with the red missions, so I figure that's what we'll... Uh, that's what we'll do. Uh, at least that's what we'll start off with. Uh... In for a penny, in for a pound. Oh, ho, 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 ho. spread the Ripper's terror through my newspapers. I want to make amends for my part in forging this monster's legend. The Central Newspaper Agency has received another Ripper letter. <coughs> Handwriting experts have identified a suspect this time. We must be sure it's not him. We must be sure it's not him. Come 
Come on, go up. Eevee. Eevee. Oh, jeez. Fuck off. I wrote that letter, but it was politically motivated. Citizens are starting to demand reforms in this city. The people of Whitechapel need help. Better living conditions. That's all the red things in White Chapel. All right. Um, lost women. Let's do some lost women. Sorry, borrowing your carriage. Nelly. Thank God you're here. These are dark times. <clears throat> Excuse me. These are dark times to be a prostitute, especially in Whitechapel. Many destitute women have no choice but to turn to prostitution to survive, and these unfortunates ply their trade in the most dangerous and poorly lit streets of London. They get no respect and have no protection. Somebody has to stand up for them. Sex work is real work. Find the kidnapped prostitute in one of the carriages, then hijack and kill the carriage and kill or escape uh, all pursuing enemies. The prostitute must survive and the carriage must not be destroyed. Save me, friend, Miss Evie. I'm begging you. She's nothing but another whore gone missing to the rest of them. I'll find her. I promise. Okay, where am I going? Ah, over here. Come on! Yeah. 
be running I see Evie running so full speed at 40 years and it makes me look at myself and go well well I mean that comes with the training and the lifestyle you know like they live it, it's the same way Batman is still technically only 40 <laughs> no not really but no it is it is very much the life about the lifestyle and stuff and yeah you're safe now you saved me she took care I of her knees what you did for this girl she took care of her knees much better than most other pe most people in real life do Lieutenants, slow carriage escape, another ripper letter, another lost woman. Let's help another prostitute. Lost woman, lost woman. Still very well. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, no, there, there's... Not many video game series that make me feel bad about how I've taken care of myself more than the Assassin's Creed series. Should have picked up parkour at like 10. Yeah, exactly. Imagine the sex drive on the assassins, though. Assuming, you know, not asexual and stuff like that. Like, with all that stamina and flexibility. Miss Avi, thank God you're here. Our families may not consent. Nobody is going to suspect the gentleman who inhabit the city of London of making prostitutes disappear. A kidnapping ring is procuring women for the wealthy to do with as they please. Don't let them get away with it. Miss Evie, a bunch of drunken sons just took me friend. Slumming bastards. If you don't help her, no one will. I'll find her. I promise. I think the prostitute died. Did we see how that? <laughs> did we see what happened to that that fucking carriage? 
Did we see what happened to that fucking carriage? The way it just fucking spun and just like exploded, basically. Yeah, no, I think she did. I hope she did. If she not dead, I feel bad for her. All right, activity reset. All right, where was this? It was up here. Go. Come on. Miss Avery, thank God you're here. Someone's kidnapped my friend. Miss Avery, thank God you're here. Save me, friend, Miss Evie. I'm begging you. She's not. I'll find her. I promise. You're safe now. You do right by us girls when no one else will. I thank you, miss. An assassin gauntlet called Kiss the Hand. I love it. Um, the one thing about that clip, I don't know if it will actually, because there is a severe uh, lag difference between where I'm playing and what you guys are seeing and experiencing and when your stuff, your messages get back to me because of my internet technical difficulties. Um, I hope that that clip got that actual moment. If not, I can try to grab it, try to remember to grab it later because I'm not that I should be able to clip it myself later. Yeah. Yeah, my internet's been having problems for the last like three, four weeks. Um, I'm working on it as best I can. Uh, so. Yeah, the technical difficulties would indeed explain it. Oh, did the clip actually work, Yvonne? Now he has to wait an hour for Miss that Fry, message to get to her. It's about a new Ripper letter. I hope it's nothing but a hoax, but we cannot afford to ignore it. Time to replace the hamsters. Kinda. Did it manually? Sorry, Yvonne, but thank you.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, it is hella delay. I think you probably didn't hear it because I uh, hear my explanation. Uh, the delay is, the delay is delaying because of internet, continued internet struggles. Um, we're doing the best we can. It's gonna take like a three. It, it's gonna take like an hour for what I'm doing to come out to you guys, and then an hour for what you guys say to come back to me, and then an hour for me to reply what to what you guys are saying, basically. I, that's an exaggeration. It's not actually an hour, for the record. But it's not your. The delay is nobody's fault except for my own. Well, not even mine technically. It's the internet's fault, but. Hey, where are you going, buddy? Where'd he go? There he is. Come on, turn around. Take me around. Yeah, no, my internet issues, which have been happening for the last three or four weeks, are still happening. <clears throat> Target the suspect. Let's. Ooh, I know what I want to do. Oh, I can't. It'll bounce. Okay. Well, in that case. Oh, EP. Next up. Yeah, let's do a slow carriage escape. Why not? Yvonne. When you can, can you join me in the Discord? Because I'm... I'm a horrible person, but I need to say a thing. And I want your audible response to be on stream. No rush on it. I'm curious how much of a like exactly how much of a delay there is. Um, All right, let's go. Still, still being a platypus. <laughs> still platypusing. Uh huh. Wow, you were a platypus for a while. I was. And I'm okay with and that. And I just came in. Okay, so that's a that's not that that's not as bad as it could have been. I was I was afraid it was worse. 
Okay. So in this DLC, they introduce an element of gameplay involving fear. Because, you know, yes. Jake, John, Jack, what's, what's his name? Ripper. Ripper asshole. Jack the Ripper. Yeah, that guy. That, that, Not that ripping stupid assholes. Person. That's, that's <laughs> completely different. Um, but yeah, so they have two, they introduced two fear conditions other than, well, calm, mm -hmm. but there's frightened, which is, you know, when everybody, the red one, when everybody's all running and freaking the fuck out. Um, yeah. But then they also have anxious, which is Leave me alone. I mean, which what? Is symbolized, <laughs> which is symbolized by a yellow orange diamond over their head, as opposed to a red diamond over their mm -hmm. head. Mm -hmm. And so, as I was walking away mm -hmm. from the mission I just mm -hmm. completed, I saw one of these people with that mm -hmm. with an anxious diamond above their head, and my thought, mm -hmm. and again. Again, I preface this with, I am a horrible fucking person for having thought of this and mm -hmm. thought it was fucking funny. Mm -hmm. But I must say this as your friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. When I saw that person with the anxious diamond above their head, I said, hey, look, mm -hmm. that person's experiencing Yvonne's every day. There it is. I'm gonna <laughs> kick your ass. So horrible. I'm such a horrible person. You are. Yeah, you are. You you fucking terrible motherfucking person. I'm going to slaughter. Oh, hurry up. Hurry. <laughs> am I am I still? I am, am just I going to horrible? turn into Jack the Ripper. Am I am I still horrible if I'm if I'm a platypus? <laughs> Being a platypus I cannot save you. What if I'm a singing platypus? platypus? No. No. Mm -mm. Help me! Please! No. Okay, fine. Fine, then I guess I yep. accept my fate. <laughs> Help mm -hmm. me! Please! Please step away! When they inevitably Back put off. you into the traveling circus as a freak show, I will sneak into the crowd, and I will slaughter you. I mean, fair. I was saying that because you were a singing platypus. Anyhow. And I, I, again, either way, I mean fair. Rose, did you just say that platypus is going mess everything up? I'm sorry? I'm sorry? Rose? Out of girl. What's going on? I mean, they are. I a, for Doofenshmirtz, they do. Yes, but Doofenshmirtz literally tries to take over Slowly the tri state now. area every me. day. Come on. Okay, stop. You guys are going to make me start shipping you two. I am not Jenga Ripper! Here now. now. I don't know what to fucking say. Thanks, Jamie. God. <laughs> You're welcome. Please, please, please. Mm -hmm. no, don't let them. Please, please, please. I'll let you go back to your anxiety hole. Fuck you. <laughs> You're my best friend. Fuck you. <laughs> it's only I I would only I'm only allowed to say these things because I'm your best friend. Anybody else would get uh, would you know it should get murdered. Oh my god. You should get murdered. <laughs> That's it. I mean, I don't disagree. <laughs> Murder is the murder. Murder and death are like the easy way out because you know no more capitalism. Please, oh my God! Just get me to the yard alive. Shut up! There you go. Hey, look, a house is on fire. Actually, it's not a house. 
Oh. It's an omnibus. Oh. Oh. I was gonna be like, time for the burning of London. Again. But I guess that will happen later. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Anyway, later, everyone. Well, I assume you I'm have better to. things to do. Yep. Like you're, like dwelling yeah. your whole of anxiety. Thank you for bringing the suspect to me safely, Miss Fry. I swear to God. I'm innocent. It's not me. I kind of wish I had a button that was just <laughs> kick. <laughs> kick. Just kick the person out of the channel. Just a single button on my keyboard that. I mean, I could just deafen. But that's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> Bye. Rude ass. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh next up is let's see here. Lieutenants or Another slow carriage. Let's do the final slow carriage, and then we'll kill it. Kill, kill off that last uh, uh, lieutenant. worse honestly I genuinely was expecting it to be a lot worse based off of the all of the red that OBS and, and everything is showing me I could have done a better parking job oh well After authoring a curious newspaper article claiming that black magic was the motive for the Ripper's murders, Robert Donston Stephenson, or Stevenson, has gone missing. Uh, you should find and bring him in for questioning, especially since he admitted himself to London Hospital shortly before the murders started, but was able to come and go as he pleased. Assistance. My neighbors will hang me if they find out I've anything to do with Ripper murders. There you are. They want to kill me. Oh, I am not Jack the Ripper. Out of go. Shout it louder. I'm sure they'll believe Easy. you if they hear Easy. you shout it at the top of your lungs. Yes, two minutes is pretty bad, but like, I was genuinely thinking it was like 10 minutes. I'm just not gonna go that way. Carriage of justice, right? Yeah. There you are. 
Oh my god. That's it. Right. There you go. What was that? Well then. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Out of go. Would have been lost, made that including one. the suspects, if not for your intervention. I thank you. <clears throat> I'll be dead. With no way to prove my innocence if it weren't for you, miss. All right. The insidious pistol. All right, so. Size doesn't matter. Evie has declared it. Now we have one lieutenant left to do, and that's this guy down here. But before we do that, I, when I was looking at the database earlier, I totally for realized that I had forgotten uh, that we have some modern day shit to read. All right, so. Intel 1. <clears throat> From Bishop to WW Assassin. Uh, subject, highest priority. This directive comes from W. Miles, William Miles, the father of uh, Desmond Miles and the current known uh, mentor of the Brotherhood. Um, Dr. Alvaro Grammatica is now our most valuable target. He is in possession of the Shroud of Eden, and we know he intends to use it to recreate a, pre a precursor for purposes unknown. We were able to capture some footage of him in his lab, but unfortunately, we still have no idea where that lab is. It it is everyone's mission to one, find Gramma Dr. Grammatica and his lab. Two, kill Dr. Grammatica. Three, recover the Shroud of Eden and any other artifacts found in the lab. Four, destroy any and all Abstergo cloning technology. I've released some more of Evie's genetic memories in the, to the initiates to keep our back door into Helix secure. We need all hands on deck for this one. Report back with any leads. So those new memories are what we're going through currently with Jack the Ripper shit. Intel 2, from Erend Schutt Cunningham to WW Assassins, subject, Europe. Um, <laughs> bayonet in the form of a pistol is wild, right? Li li okay, Intel 2, because uh, I want to get it. I want to I want to show you guys a closer look of this damn pistol here. So this pistol, right? This pistol is whole ass just a fucking barrel like not even a barrel it's just a fucking firing thing and a trigger with a blade on it worldwide assassins probably is what ww assassin stands for uh probably but what's interesting about it the knuckle sandwich Is that not fucking cool? That feels really fucking cool to me. They are 100% canonically the same weapon. Oh, 
Oh, I was reading stuff. Um... All right. Two worldwide assassins subject to Europe. Well, Harlan and I just finished a whirlwind tour of Western Europe, and it was not as romantic as I would have liked. Uh, thanks for interrupting our fucking honeymoon, Bishop. And to <laughs> make things worse, so far, no sign of Grammatica and his lab. With Isabel Ardant dead and Abstergo historical research scrambling to replace her, the UK is still crawling with soldiers from Sigma Team and Delta Team. Punchy them and then shooty them. Absolutely. Um... Sigma team and the Delta team. Uh, it's hard to maneuver there, but it looks more like the closing ranks to heal rather than hiding something. Paris is clean since Sean blew up the lab. Uh, even Abstergo's not dumb enough to put a new one in the same city. However, we did notice that they seem very interested in the Sackley biz business cluster. Um, but as it doesn't relate to our current mission, we can't look into it. We're going to pass through Italy as we head west. I'm super excited, but poor Harlan has bad memories of Florence. We've, oops, 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 oops. We've tried to send word to the Nin Ninzi brothers, the Nin Ninzi brothers people in Georgia. Jeez, I'm butchering that. Uh, majorly butchering that. Um, but we haven't heard back. The silence is pretty worrisome. The chaos in that part of the world might make for good cover for a lab. Fingers crossed. At the least, at the very least, my man and I will try to do some ser uh, some good while we search. Sorry we don't have better news. P.S. Tell Galena, don't feel too bad for not killing Berg. He's been on my shit list ever since he hurt Harlan. He's mine. Uh, Harlan was, Harlan was one of the assassins who helped out... Uh, Desmond in Italy during the first three games, if I remember correctly from the lore. Uh, we never get a get, we never get that name drop in the actual games, but I think in the expanded like books and stuff, they established that he was one of the assassins that tried to help us uh, help Desmond out, and thus the bad memories of Florence. Um, from da Jazz Deep Dami to Worldwide Assassins, subject Risk. No sign of Grammatica's lab in India. I am I'm proceeding south through the various islands, island nations to Australia. Abstergo's many of subsidiaries continue to have a strong presence in Bangalore, and they are no doubt scrambling to make sure we can't pillage another set of genetic memories. With all due respect, I think the, cur uh, the continued involvement of the initiates is dangerous. I, I punched and shoot that name. Uh... I think continued involvement of the initiates is dangerous. They are not trained assassins. I am forever grateful that they helped rebuild our network and they've proved themselves invaluable as, da as data miners. So it's not a question of skill, but safety. I am an assassin who accepts the risk of my chosen calling and have, in have trained hard to protect myself, involving a large number of civilians who simply ha happen to own a device connected to Helix, puts them directly in the Templar's crosshairs. I have... I have seen firsthand what happens when civilians enter our world. It doesn't take long before things get messy. While I recognize the great threat Grammatica poses and our great need to do something about it, we need to find another way. From Kiyoshi Takakura to Worldwide Assassins, subject Continental Asia. Hi! Oh. Hi! Our position in Japan is stronger than ever. I can say with absolute confidence that the lab is not here, but we continue to search with vigilance. Osoroshi Baba has decreed, I butchered that, I feel it in my bones, has decreed that we will, that we will send small teams into China and the Koreas to help the local cells search. I myself will be heading to China. I am very excited. In addition to looking uh, to locating Dr. Grammatica and ending his life, I look forward to sampling the various regional street foods. I'm going to start off by eating uh Wo Guo. I apologize to anybody who speaks these languages. I am Whitey McWhite man doing his best. Uh roadside hot pot in Shandong province. Once invigorated by food, I will. 
I love this guy. I will investigate several of Abstergo's holdings in the various high-tech development zones found throughout the province. I can get uh, a kind of crepe pretty much anywhere, but my brother says that there is a, a vendor in Dalian that puts everyone else to shame. He puts in pickles, cabbage, potato, carrot, pork sauce. I love that this is basically just a recipe. Like, this guy, this guy deadass said, we're dealing with world-ending events. We're dealing with world-ending events, but what's important right now is that I email my bosses about what food I'm going to eat while I travel. <laughs> God, I love this. Uh pork sausage, deep fried crispy dough, and a variety of spices. Welcome back, Yvonne. Um, Abstergo I Industries. Just, I just needed to say live, like the sentence of alongside ending this person's life, I look forward most to trying the street food. It's insane. <laughs> right? It's right? <laughs> Like, like, I absolutely adore this person. This person is officially the best assassin ever. They are way too peppy and way too calm about this. So my question <laughs> to you, Yvonne, fellow weeb, mm -hmm. is this person uh, who is named Kiyoshi Takakura, mm -hmm. is this person a teenage Japanese girl. <laughs> I would say early 20s, but yeah. Japanese girl. Japanese woman. I believe they are Japanese. Well, no, yeah, I'm saying the, the point is there's a trope in anime. <laughs> and I'm saying, is this person uh, that? Of the... <laughs> ah! Oh, yes. Murderous, but is way too peppy and will, like, end your life while smiling and also being like, let's get, let's get food later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's her. <laughs> yeah. Now, I am absolutely, they don't say officially a gender in that, or, or a, a gender identity in that uh, email, but I'm going to the Assassin's Creed wiki. Because I need I to know. I know it's because of freaking. I know it's because of freaking Avatar, but I heard Kiyoshi and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, Kiyoshi. Makes sense. Somebody named Kiyoshi is absolutely mm -hmm. like the personality suddenly makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Except it seems like it seems like a lifetime where she had a lot less trauma or at least had a lot of trauma that she could actually go and process. Okay, so two things. Imagine a peppy One... Avatar Kiyoshi. <laughs> God, that would be horrifying. Like, terrifying. Like It would! It like Batman would. smiling. Like Batman mm -hmm. smiling. That would be horrifying. Okay, anyway, so Kiyoshi Takakura. I have confirmed one, I confirmed two things. One thing I was pretty sure was the case, but I didn't remember for sure, so I didn't say it. Kiyoshi Takakura is very much one of the one of the characters that is from the expanded Assassin's Creed universe outside of the games. They feature in several of the books and comics and stuff. They are canon and they exist. Uh, Kiyoshi the thing I have confirmed, Kiyoshi is a guy by identity and oh, really? uh, mask, mask, basically. Yes, he, it's this is a guy. Well, now I'm just um, now I'm just imagining, you know, a very friendly Japanese man who's very cordial. And he's like, yes, I'm going to travel to um, to China. It sounds really awesome. And Alongside murdering this person, I really like to try the street food. I look forward to it with the with the bow. <laughs> You're hundred percent correct. <laughs> However, this guy does show up in one of the games 
uh coming up in one of the three games well there's now more games but he shows up in one of the games mm -hmm. we're getting that's coming up next um and i won't say which one because spoilers and all that but he does show up in one of the games and from what i recall of his appearance in the game he's like almost the stereotypical yakuza kind of personality <laughs> type of thing <laughs> So like, but like, but also simultaneously not like, have you seen, oh God, what was the name of that amazing fucking anime? The one about the former Yakuza who quit the life oh, to become a housewife. The house husband? Or, yes, the house husband. Yes. Uh, kind of that vibes, honestly. <laughs> Anyway, also, back to, uh, back to the game. Him talking about the city of Xi'an. Uh, Xi'an? Like, I watched a, a mini documentary about the food culture there, and oh my god, I don't blame him at all one bit. I, I want to go there. My blade is sharp and my mouth is watering. Let's go. <laughs> you okay. read faster than I do. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Huh. Uh, well, uh anyway. <laughs> See ya. Later. Abstergo Industries exports a lot uh hold on. Yes. Uh Abstergo Industries exports a lot of its products and technology from Dalian to other Asian markets. So perhaps I can find a trail to Grammatica's laboratory in the same manner as Gavin's son. Uh, Gavin Gavin? 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 I can never remember how to pronounce that name, and it's a pretty sure it's a European one. Anyway, Gavin found uh, Gavin San found uh, the lab in Paris. Afterwards, I will find this vendor and enjoy the Xian Bing of victory. Xian Bing of victory. I shall then visit the city of Xian, capital of the Shanxi province, as its history with the Silk Road. The Silk Road trade route exposed its culture to a variety of outside influences, most notably, noticeably Muslim. And when two cultures mix, the result is always good food. I shall begin with a Shanxi sandwich. Nu Nui Ro. Oh god. Nui Ro Jemmo. It is a kind of beef sandwich. Xi'an's high tech industries. Again, I am so sorry. I am Whitey McWhiteman uh, trying his best. I apologize to everybody in the world ever for everything. Uh, High Tech Industries Development Zone is almost entirely owned by Abstergo, who are able to acquire thousands of graduates from the Abstergo-funded universities in the area. Surely it is a magnificent location for the laboratory we seek, my blade is sharp and my mouth is watering. Onwards! Bishop, what's your favorite food? <laughs> Best assassin ever. From Eric Cooper, that's a name I could probably say, to worldwide assassin subject, bad news. Bishop, our man in Montreal is dead. The poor wee lad had kept a low profile during the incident in late 2014. So I thought he'd be okay. After all, not much really came from Otto Berg's viral video posturing, did it? We had to empty a few sh safe houses, shut down a few servers, and put up some some new firewalls. But all in all, it seemed like he was just fucking shit, fucking shite. Excuse me. Um. Well then, travel the damn world. Um. Seemed like he was just talking shite. Uh, except it was a feint. He found our man in Montreal almost instantly and monitored his communication with other initiates. Uh, he flushed us out and watched us run, and more importantly, where we were running to. Now, some of our most influential supporters from the early days are running into some bad luck. Our military contact contacts are getting transferred or discharged. Our wealthier private citizens are getting audited or straight up bought out by Abstergo and their subsidiaries. Our friends in the seats of higher learning are facing budget cuts and challenges to their authority and curriculum. There are a lot of good people at risk whose only crime was curiosity. 
I generally don't have a lot of time for Jaws Deep's shitty attitude, but he's he's is right on this one. He's is right on this one. Uh, the kitchens aren't uh, the kitchens. God damn it, Rose! The initiates aren't like us, and they're in danger. Abstergo can make them disappear, or worse. I don't want to sound like I'm wearing Emmett's tinfoil hat or anything, but I'm convinced they're being targeted. These are my friends. More importantly, they are innocents. Inoknets. 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 And we need to do something and fast. I remain humbly yours, Eric. P.S. Any updates on Sean and Rebecca? She wasn't looking so great when we extracted them from London. want to show of Kiyoshi just doing a very Netflix style food travel docu-series every so often having to be like excuse me and running off to do some assassin stuff and come back like nothing happens I want to travel the, the damn world but capitalism and anxiety and noodle damn noodles uh I have travel anxieties too I is fluffy and many places are not fluffy friendly indubitably Sorry, man. I need this. So things aren't going good for the assassins and the initiates. Food is good. Come on! It just is. Okay, hold on. I have some perks. Do I have all of the perks? I do not have all the perks. Uh, create a diversion by distracting an enemy with a prostitute. Okay. 15 times. Easy enough. Why do I feel like that's an innuendo, Yvonne?
Anything's an innuendo if you try hard enough. I'm gonna restart this if it'll let me. This woman is making us do problems. I'm having problems over here. Somewhere else might bloody now. In theory, if I just leave the area, it'll restart. In theory. Absolutely! Exactly true! That is exactly true. See if that See if that did what I was hoping it would do. No. In theory. Okay, that's Verdi and Liz Ray. Oops, I just murdered that horse. Shame. Horse murder, murder ending a horse. Close enough.
Fella, just gonna Please pop up on some shit. Be afraid. There you go. No, no, no. No. Other direction, easy. There you go. Okay, so there's Simon Swins. How have you all been? I don't remember if I asked that. How have you all been? I do not recall if I asked that. And I, and I apologize for the oversight. The censor.
You're tired? Alright. Now, to the main story. Yvonne. <laughs> Phoenix Rose is tired. Yvonne B is hungry. discovered that Jack transports his hostages downriver <clears throat> to old to old Hulk prison ships and an abandoned garrison near the deep sea port of Dep of Deptford. It's time to shut down his operation. That is true. These old Navy ships were hulked out to hold prisoners until they were assigned a convict ship leaving for the colonies. So this is where Jack keeps his quarry. Let's see if Jack is paying a visit to his captives. Four enemies on in the prison boats. Okay. Oh, that prison boat. Thanks for the uh, lurk. And be and good girl, get some food. Oh, there's a treasure chest somewhere. And I ran right past it. Hold on a second. Let me check. Let me check a thing. Blanius. 
Um, okay, so there are six chests here, one lockpick, and two uh, he uh, helix glitches. That's the word. <clears throat> ah, there's one. Not seeing anything else. Yeah. Not seeing anything else that's a helix glitch or a lockpick thing or anything like that. Continue the mission. Jacob? Is that you? No, they're Templars. Help me. Miss, please, why am I here? No one will tell me. It's Jack. Jack the Ripper, I say. He's the one who abducted us! He starves and tortures us until we write to our families, begging them to do as he dictates, or we'll be slaughtered! Is he here? Have you seen the Ripper recently? Not for weeks. But he'll come back. And bring more poor suds to dance on the warders call for him. Jack has locked them up like animals. They'll all die of cholera. If the chief warder doesn't hang them first. I beg you, don't leave us to perish. The Chief Warder is a vile, sadistic man. No one spoke to me for weeks. Then the Warder's assistant came to ask me how much I weigh. I need to get into the main prison and find the Chief Warder before he hangs another man for Jack's entertainment. Oh, shit! Ah! Ah! Who do you think you are? 
and dredge your Thames, you lazy bastards. The chief warder wants privacy. Head guard. Don't lose <clears throat> heart, gentlemen. We can break out of here if we work together. Well, it's no use. We need explosives to blast through Prisoner. those doors. You gotta get the weight just right. Drop them gentle. Let them do the work. That way you can stretch their guns a good four or five room. inches before they croak. Okay. Where is this glitch? Come on. I right, well, let me. There we go. All right. He saw what you saw, which is nothing. Okay. Now. Claiming that. Alright, so all three opportunities are inside the actual thing itself. So I should be able to get the remaining chests and stuff without having to trigger anything. Unique kill opportunity. The chief warder's assistant is responsible for the upkeep of the gallows. Lure the assistant into meddling with the gallow mechanism. Interesting. Okay. Let's talk to the prisoners. I have 
Two more chests, okay. Distraction. Okay. Let's get this chest. If you would, my lady, free us. Blast open this cell door, and we'll keep a few of those thugs occupied for as long as we can. They're going that way. <clears throat> Where was that at, that last chest? There, okay. This work makes me proud, see. It's important work. Mr. Jack understands that. Doesn't count, does it? He's dead, so where's the skill in that? Nah. You got to get the weight just right. Drop Go see what's wrong up there, you simpering ass. Yes, sir. Fella. She's someone else's problem now. Well, a problem with the new police, sir. Fix it in Jolterhead. <laughs> that last one, Red Marty, fat bastard he was. He took some faffin', but I managed to pull a good half foot from him. Two shoes, is it? You think offering some old hangman's going to change what we do here? We. What do you think? This was your brother's vision, his inspiration. I don't believe you. He told Mr. Jack how to rip the filth from this rotten city, but you don't have the balls to see what's right and necessary. Where's Jack? Where's the ripper? <laughs> To hell with your right when necessary. That vile sadist was working for the Ripper. There's no sign of Jack here. Oh, Jacob, you did not intend to breed this monster. But he is ours to destroy. 
The legacy of our brotherhood depends on it. I must inform Abilene about what I have discovered here. Yeah. I need to speak to Frederick Abilene. This is an emergency. Well, where is he? The Ripper is struck again. Where? All right. Thank you, officer. Wait. You need to alert the local constable. Send as many men as you can to the old Hulk prisons. Jacob's sniveling twin sister thinks she can catch them. Off and sent them to your women. Oh! <gasps> 
Welcome back, Yvonne. And, uh, yes. Yes, I am. to show the difference in his behavior and abilities versus the assassins, essentially. for a fact that it's not we know for a fact that it's n well actually do we hmm that's a thought so okay obviously the end of this the, the thing they will reveal whether that's true or not but actually now that I think about it at this point we don't actually know that it's not Jacob um so we don't know one way or the other, really. So the the DLC started with you running around as, uh, well, Jack, stalking Jacob. But because of mental shit, it's entirely possible that that was two personalities, one being stalked by the other, and them not them at odds while f basically not actually confronting each other. It's possible. <coughs> and yes, it is a complete unnecessary amount of stabbing, but Jack the Ripper. Right, that, that's possible. That is possible at this point. We do not know one way or the other if it's true uh, at this point, but it is possible. <coughs> okay, I'm still out of those. Oh yeah, I'm up in the green my now. Favorite hangman. Looking somewhat worse for wear. Poor Warder Billsworth. Oops, I Mind me looking for my way out. How do I? Ah, stairs. But yeah, I just noticed that it's up in the green now. So that's cool. Destroy the evidence, kill the witnesses, leave no traces. But yeah, it's very much to show how broken he is, because that was absolutely something that needed to be done, right?
The warder had orders to burn all their personal effects. The police must not find this evidence. No one must find my guest's personal effects. No. No, he's not. I'd almost forgotten these. There will be time for more games of Saucy Jack once I've dealt with Miss Fry. Just because we have, I haven't explained it yet. Um, in case you missed the previous uh, episode, I guess. Um, basically, what the current theory that Evie is working with um, is that Jack, the Ripper, was a orphan that. Jacob took in under his wing. Uh, Evie met him once uh, when Jacob brought the child to India to learn uh, some of the uh, training and tricks that the Indian Brotherhood had. Namely, specifically, the usage of fear, to essentially fear toxin and fear, fear gas um, from bombs and and it's already an ad break. Anyway, it's fine. I actually, I need to run to the bathroom. So I'll finish that thought in a bit when I come back from the bathroom, BRB. Okay, I am back, and the ad break will be over in a few seconds. Um, 
So yeah, as I was saying, basically, uh, the mystery, as Evie's been seeing it, is that it's possible that Jack is this boy who Jacob found and took under his wing. Um, and yeah, no, for real. It's basically like Scarecrow shit. Um, with, uh, with like fear toxin and yeah. Um, but like, uh, when you, when you're doing fear moves as Evie specifically, um, you'll note like there's this orange gas that she's like throwing in people's faces and stuff and stuff like that. And it's essentially fear toxin, like the scarecrow. Um, but yeah, so the mission, the, the mystery so far is that as Evie knows it, at some point, Jacob found an orphan child boy who was named Jack. Um, Jacob took him in under his wing and then brought him and Evie met him once when Jacob brought him brought the child to India with him to learn uh methods of the Indian Brotherhood uh specifically the use of uh fear spikes uh brutal assassinations and uh the fear bombs which are all usages of things that look worse than they really are. So the fear spikes are these uh, two-pronged, they look like daggers, but they're wide enough that they can pin a person's arm down. Uh, and you, things like that. Like they are sharp, but, uh, and they, punk they can puncture if you're not careful. But the assassins are specifically trained to use these tools non-lethally, and that includes the so-called brutal assassinations, which are just a series of body blows uh, mixed with spreading of fear toxin to make everybody around them panic, thinking that you are brutally murdering somebody when you're not. Evie is assuming that the... Jack the Lad, uh, who was, uh, Jacob's, uh, uh, what's he called? Uh, underling, trainee, little apprentice. Um, G Evie is assuming that he took those lessons as he grew up and his mental, uh, and mental illness occurred. Um, Evie is attending, not attending, is assuming that... Uh, as he grew up, he took that stuff he learned between the assassins and everything else and has now just turned that into burn it all down, basically. Like, the assassins are wrong, the Templars are wrong, everything just, just burn, basically. Um, and you can see the, the similarities between what Evie does and what Jack does. Evie very much, like, when she pins a person using one of the fear stakes... It's very much like it pins their arm down and there and she spreads like a shit ton of fucking uh, fear toxin on him and on the people and they they freak out and run um, or she, you know, does a brutal assassination and it's just a bunch of body blows and stuff like that. Whereas Jack, he is actively impaling the people with like actual stakes and he does it basically he accomplishes the same effect without the fear toxin he does have some of those fear bombs but mostly it's the the ac he uses actual fear um and so basically he's he is what an assassin would be if they've gone too far kind of like the whole uh, what happens if Batman goes too far kind of a thing. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of like that concept. Now, Yvonne did raise the question of, is this guy just Jacob, but having lost his mind? At this point, the story has not said officially one way or the other. 
Um, it's looking like it's not. But I will also add Yeah, basically. Um, yeah, basically, Yvonne. But I will also add that we know that Jacob has descendants because in the main campaign of the game, uh, there is a section where you are jumped forward to World War II, or one. One? One. World War One, And you are playing as... Uh, Jacob's granddaughter. Specifically, Jacob's granddaughter. However, by this point in time, Jacob may have a child. Um, we don't know. Because we they haven't said. It's very difficult to tell. Like, basically, Lydia Fry existing in the future does not ex it does not immediately uh mean that Jacob is not Jack the Ripper you know so it's possible it is possible um only way to know would be to keep watching and keep playing It won't be long before my masterpiece will bring her running right into my arms. I look forward to the family reunion. Jack was indeed never found historically. Correct. That we know of. As far as we know, he was not. That's assuming he was actually a, a singular person at all and not a a bunch of different unrelated murders that were then hyped up by the news the media news media life sucker sucker of the life all right inventory what we got here Let's go ahead and upgrade that. We're not going to use it, but we'll upgrade it. Colors. You know what? Let's go ahead and purchase these. I got plenty of money. That chest. Okay, we're still missing this that's okay we have that is it upgraded yes are all of them upgraded yes um yes uh firearms did i upgrade all of these i think i did yes all right we have two new entries people and location all right, onwards we go. Now, I need a store. So, <clears throat> the only thing I let myself dist get distracted with is a store. Otherwise, I won't get distracted, won't get distracted, won't get distracted, won't get distracted. 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 I did not need the carriage. I was much closer to the objective than I thought I was.
the river has struck again. Jack's latest atrocity must be his last. Evie searches for anything the monster may have overlooked. Anything that will help her bring an end to the Ripper's reign of terror. Monster. You damn monster! Oi! You're not allowed in here! Evie! Get a hold of yourself! Go! Go! Out! Who is she? Tell me quickly. Tell you. By what right? I am an officer of the law. I am not a member of your secret organization. Listen to me. Jacob knows. No, you listen to me. I cannot cover for you much longer. All the evidence points to your brother, your order, you. You need to deliver the Ripper's head on a spike soon, or I'm afraid there'll be nothing to stop my men from arresting you in his stead. You'll have his head, even if it costs me mine. Unfortunate. By far the youngest at 25. Miss Kelly was found dead here at 10.45 this morning. Her throat had been cut, and her whole head and body mutilated in a fashion which defines the word hideous. He removed her organs, her heart, her dignity. You want me to see you as she did? Imagine the terror she felt. Do you hurt women just to prove you're a man, Jack? This is horrific. Revolting. There are no words to describe the savagery displayed here. The kettle is still warm. Okay. Blood. That is a lot of blood. Bloodstain has a straight edge on one side, suggesting that an object blocked the splatter. The door was moved because of the blood splatter. I can't make sense of these markings from this position. There's blood on the door and a strange symbol that resembles the one above the body. The prince, uh, the, the prince, the police must have moved the door when they arrived on the scene. What's this? Jack must have left these markings for me. My gift to you, Miss Fry, and more to come, unless you do as Jack says. Follow the trail of blood through the looking glass. Jack wants me to return to the scene of his first crimes. I will do as you say, Jack, until I find you and send you to your own special hell. What did you discover? A message for me. The monster is going to lead me right to him, Inspector. I must return to the locations of the Ripper's first crimes. Don't let your fury blind you, Miss Fry. I would not lose you, too. If I do die, Inspector, I will take the Ripper with me. Annie Chapman was murdered near a cemetery in Whitechapel. Ooh, a store. That's what I was looking for. Back where we were going. Oh, that was almost bad. Ouch. I'm going to have to scare off this lot if I want to investigate in peace. 
Someone fought here. The Ripper's first strike did not kill her outright. It was a deep wound that bled profusely. First strike non-lethal. She ran away. Way. Here. This is where Jack ripped the life from Miss Chapman's breast. The second victim of his hideous crimes. He cut off her ring finger. So where is the ring? The Ripper wounded her again here, but she lost a lot of blood, but the injuries were still not fatal. Jack let her flee, only to hunt her down again and again, prolonging her agony. More blood splatter. Splatter from many deep cuts, second strike, abundant old blood stain. She ran away. More Where does blood. it lead? Footsteps suggest that she turned around here, and given the amount of blood lost, she paused for a moment before fleeing again. Did she stop to face Jack, or to find some place to, to hide a clue? Turn back to hurl something, to plead with Jack. More blood spatter. Third powerful strike, which still did not slay her instantly. Jack must have relished her terror as she watched her life slip away. Damn it. Yet another one. Final halting steps. Savagery, merciless. Final halting steps. Fell here, exhausted, terrified, and alone. There was no merciful final blow. Jack must have watched as her life drained away in a pool of her blood. Her assassin ring must be here somewhere. Because yes, as a reminder, the women that Jack has been hunting and killing were all assassins. Jack wanted to be sure I'd find these rings. What kind of creed cannot protect its own? This message was intended first for my brother. Catherine Eddowes was murdered in a small square close to the train tracks.
catch him. What are the police I must find the location where Jack murdered his other victim. From this assassin. What has the government done? Let us demand the closure of all wicked houses of sin and impurity in our city. We shall petition our most gracious majesty, Queen Victoria. But what if our petition falls on deaf ears? Who will avenge the blood of these unfortunate victims? I say we must take the law into our own hands. Who is with me? Anyway, as I was doing, there was a bad fall. She fell where he severely mutilated her corpse. That is a lot of blood. She was backed to the wall here, bleeding profusely. Jack's cut was deep, perhaps to the ab abdomen. Was her fatal wounds. Woman, I need you to move. This is where Miss Eddowes breathed her last. Humiliated and degraded by Jack. He wanted to punish my brother. I should follow these traces. Left over the wall in a desperate attempt to flee the Ripper. You monster. You murdered every assassin my brother turned against you and your insane creed. Amount of blood lost suggests that Jack cut Lizzie's stride here. Lizzie strides throat here, killing her instantly. Kate Eddowes had time to flee. Where does it lead? Jumped over these crates with Jack on her heels. Her wounds were not so deep as to prevent escape yet. Splatters. This splatter is too. Uh, this spatter is too small to have come from the victim's wounds. The droplets nearest the haystacks are barely visible, suggesting a blood-covered object may have rolled or bounced here from another location. More blood splatter. All droplets of blood, but not from the fight. Spatter may have come from a small object, a small blood covered object thrown from his position. Signs of a struggle. Blood stains and handprints suggest that Miss Eddowes was fleeing on her hands and knees. Her assassin ring must be here somewhere. <laughs> ah! 
Her assassin ring must be here somewhere. Two assassin's rings. Jack murdered two women here. Two of Jacob's initiates. Before you see the truth. P.S. Your brother didn't listen, so I gave him a double lesson. Your creed failed them, as it failed my mother. Jack lived around here with his mother as a boy. That's where he's leading me. For Jack, only his mother's death counts as murder. is this place? The Ripper didn't murder anyone here. What? Survived the madhouse and learned from the best until he betrayed me. Come test your creed against mine. Go to Jacob! Run, Jack! The murder of Jack's mother marks the day that the Ripper was born. And he blames my brother, blames the creed for failing me. What's happening to me? I should thank you, Evie. Jacob inspired my acts by his treachery. But it's your meddling that inspired today, masterpiece. He's inside my head. Where was Jacob? Gutted my brother. Where was he when he dragged me to the madhouse? Am I losing my mind? What kind of creep can I protect its own? Face me, you monster! A dead creep, that's what. Control yourself, Evie. Jacob freed me from the madhouse. No! Please! Please! Poor Aberline. I think that was Aberline, at least. The madhouse. Lambeth Asylum. Jack lures me through the looking glass. I think that was Aberline at least. He looked like Aberline. All right. And now I believe this is the final mission. No, we have two more. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to finish this tonight just because I'm not looking forward to because I don't think these two missions will take a full stream, you know, and I don't want to start the next game during that stream.
Jack prepares for Evie's arrival and eliminates the members of the me of the medical staff with a living memory of his internment at Lambeth Asylum as a boy. Which means I believe we have one more mission as Jack. Yep. There it is. One more Ripper mission. One more Ripper, Ripper mission. Now I must erase any trace of my identity. Time to pay a visit to my old doctor. It's time my old nurse paid for her negligence and abuse. Let's show Dr. Archer what a good surgeon I make. I once begged for hers. Uh, uh, uh. 
Director Bradford will be happy to help me erase all mention of my stay in the hospital ledgers. Director of this madhouse. Who the hell are you? Meet the Ripper! No one must ever know that I was an inmate here. Time to prepare for Miss Fry's arrival. Let's let the lunatics out for a stroll. Back to the beginning, eh, Jack? My brother freed you from this madhouse and made you one of us. I can't risk being spotted or harming a single police constable. Being spotted doesn't necessarily mean no fear, though, right? Maybe.
me. I should use the trees to remain undetected. Yes, thank you. No, Evie, do what I'm telling you to do. here at the top. Okay, you need to tell me if it's up here at the top. It is not. Okay. <clears throat> Jack's trail of death continues. Gentle hand. What I need to try to remember to do is choke these ones out that aren't the, uh... Okay, fine. Technically, she's being non-lethal. Technically, she's being non-lethal. Technically, she's being non-lethal. Non 
she went to the Batman school of non-lethality. There's the glitch. Okay. Okay. Come on. There you go. There is still a treasure chest. Oh, it's upstairs. Okay. Go to sleep. I'm tired of beating the shit out of people like you, but just go to sleep. That's what I've been trying to do. <clears throat> they haven't given me any choice. Okay, I thought it was up. 
So that's up. Hi. Criticism. That's all of those. I just have one chest remaining, and that's down in the basement. I remember how to get down there. Okay. And Jamie remember how to get into the basement. I don't think he can. More of Jack's games. There must be other messages. You will like your prize, but you must descend into the abyss to retrieve it. In the basement. That is where Jack will spring his final trap. Alright. Oh, maybe where the staircase is. I'm just gonna hug real quick and you're gonna lay down on the ground. <clears throat> This is some dark, this is some Arkham Asylum shit. Jacob? Jacob! Welcome to the reunion, Miss Frog. Well, we saw Jacob locked in a cell, so, and heard <clears throat> the Ripper's voice. And immediately get assaulted by the Ripper. There is a sickness. Try something else, perhaps. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> That's useless. I can't overpower him. I need to get behind him. There is a sickness right. in this world. Right, 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 right. It made our crew. But I am here now. I will shit, tear into all sickness, all the rot and shit of this city and rip it out. We shall be pure. The final showdown. The shall rise and we the shall rise. Still think you can This is my time now. Jacob is done, and you must choose. Oh, 
Oh, he's coming back. Okay. Where are you gonna walk? Where are you gonna walk? Come out, sister. Do what I'm telling you to do. Show me your monster assassin. These lands need slaughtering. You are the assassin. Oh, there we go. Sure. We're the same, you and I. Oh, Jack. You were an assassin, yes. But we are not the same. And that is why your memory must be erased for all time. Rest in peace now, Jack. You and your twisted acolytes. Dead body Jack and an unconscious Jacob. Assuming he's actually Jacob. We'll see. Jacob. It is Jacob. Miss Fry, what the hell happened here? Nothing, Inspector. Nothing happened here. Trust me. Jack the Ripper's dead. Now help me, Frederick. No one must ever know that Jack the Ripper was an assassin. Jacob, I'm here. And that's that. Definitively, Jacob was not Jack the Ripper. And we're done with that. Oh, credits, fair. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, Jack the Ripper was an assassin who went too far. Uh, he declared the creed not good enough and then, you know, twisted it to fit himself. Um, and then when his mother was murdered, decided to take revenge on the assassins. And, and according to this, the women that he killed were all assassins. That's that. That's that's it for Assassin's Creed Syndicate as a whole. Um, the uh, 
It's one of my favorites. It's definitely one of my favorites. Um, not my absolute favorite, because my absolute favorite is Assassin's Creed 3 so far. So, well, absolute favorite 3 tied with... Actually, it's it's a tie now that I think about it. It's like a tie. It's like a three-way tie. A, uh, Assassin's Creed 3, Liberation, and... Um, Odyssey are my all-time favorites. Um, and we've been through two of them. Syndicate is a close second. It's a close second. And the Jack the Ripper DLC is... It takes all the best elements of the main game and makes them better. Is Jacob resting? No, he's not. Okay, that would have been in, that would have been hilarious if I could just go in there and find him on the bed just chilling. Um, we'll be wrapping up here shortly. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I was going to upgrade this. That way, I have everything upgraded. Um, I'm not gonna bother with all of the perks of the game. Um, of the of this, the the remaining three. Um. I mean, I might in my free time mess with it, but I'm not gonna like update you on them or anything. Um, they're not that hard to do. It's just, you have to actually make time to do them and I don't feel like it. Um... Yeah, and the unfortunate truth of the matter is the women who uh, whose murders are credited as the work of Jack the Ripper, um, we they never found justice as far as we know, which is the true tra one of the true tragedies of real life Jack the Ripper's story. Anyway, we have one last assassin's intel, and then we'll call it. From Bishop to Worldwide Assassins, subject, going dark. Your messages have been received, and after much deliberation, William Miles has decided to enact the Rooftop Garden Protocol. As of this moment, all unnecessary communications on this network will cease. Above all, your primary target remains Dr. Grammatica and his lab. If you find either, do not engage. Report to me immediately, and we will assemble a strike team. Outside of this, you are free to choose your own targets, so long as you follow the creed. I will be in touch when necessary. To any initiates reading this, thank you for your great service. For your own safety, we will not be contacting you for the foreseeable future. But the fight isn't over, and there's a good chance you'll hear from me again. Until then, stay safe. Bishop. So that brings an end to the initiates uh, era of Assassin's Creed. We had first, of course, the Desmond series, the Desmond Miles series. And then we had the Abstergo Games, uh, technically duology, um, actually technically trilogy. Uh, we had the, we had Desmond Miles trilogy, which is, or not trilogy, but like series, which was the, um, Assassin's Creed 1, to Brotherhood, Revelations, and 3. The reason I say Trilogy is because technically the three SEO games are one, but they're not. Um, then we had, after Desmond's era, we had the Abstergo Games duology, technically, which, but it's an era, which was the introduction of the uh, Abstergo Gaming uh, company um, that was utilized in both Assassin's Creed 4 and Rogue. Um, and, uh, that led to the introduction of the Helix system, which is the next era or the era of the initiates, which was, 
Assassin's Creed Unity, and Syndicate. And this brings to close that era. Next, next time, when I may take a week off. I might take a week off. I don't know. We'll see how things go. But next time, we will be starting Assassin's Creed Origins, which is essentially a reboot not a reboot of the series but it's a uh it's a place that's intent that was intended to be a uh fresh a place that new audiences can jump in fresh um it jumps back to the origin of the assassins obviously by the name as well as the origin of the creed and it goes on it goes into the uh formation of it essentially of the assassins prior to altair so yeah uh i remember when it was first announced there was some debate about uh whether or not it was going to retcon things or or anything like that and there's a couple of places where some people were like oh this is a retcon why did i do that voice that was not a voice that I meant to do that just came out of my mouth and that's not good I apologize couple there were a couple places in the game where people are like this is this is a retcon except you know having played it myself I was looking at it and going no it's not like it's it comes up to the line a little bit but it doesn't actually cross the line into a retcon um it, it's kind of like the whole from a certain point of view thing in Star Wars but anyway, uh, but yeah, enough rambling from me. Uh, that's it from me for the night. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with uh, more Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And so before we head out, though, uh, you should absolutely check out my Patreon where you can support me uh, in addition to my uh, catching my content. Um, uh, and or my or you can go to my link tree where you can find links to my socials, my discord. My socials for my uh, for updates from me, my Discord where you can join my community, uh, my Patreon, um, my Twitch where you can catch me live, my YouTube where and my, and my YouTube where you can, uh, you know, catch the vods. Um, if you are actually watching this on YouTube, thank you very much. I hope it wasn't too choppy with all the internet difficulties I've had the last few weeks, um, but. Uh, yeah um if it was i'm sorry but if it's not if it was watchable thank you for watching and thank you for being here uh if you've watched all the way through to this point uh please hit the like and subscribe button and maybe throw a comment in there you know um if you want if not it's fine i won't hold it against you um but yeah uh like i said that's it from me for the week so well not for not for the week not for the week we still have the rest of the week sorry that the wrong thing came out that's it from me for the night and that's it from Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with more Tomb Raider Tuesday, playing more Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, we've got we last time we reached a whole new section in the game. I'm excited to get into it. Um, but uh, yeah, until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves, and love everyone around you. And I'll see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.